a September 11th, a date that we should never forget. Uh, but lake levels about 916 and a half, about the same as it was last week. Water temperature, I mean, it hasn't come down. If anything, it's gone up a little bit. I mean, it's 81, 82 first thing in the morning and got up to about 85 degrees today. But uh, I think fishing's pretty tough. You know, I know last week and the week before, I said it's gonna do nothing but get better. But we actually need that water temperature, I think, to cool down to, to get better. My most consistent bite is been a jig bite. Uh, now my top water bites, you know, I was catching some fish on a whopper plopper. I know there's some being caught, but they've kind of eluded me for the last week or so. I mean, I've really mixed it up fishing a lot of different banks, but I can't seem to find them whopper plopper fish. About the only top water bite I've had is if the fish show themselves. I mean, if they come up surfacing, I can catch a couple. And they've been coming out, coming up surfacing kind of in the middle of nowhere. A lot of times when I'm out there fishing a jig or a drop shot, uh, they'll come up up in that open water. There'll be three or four of them come up. They won't stay up too long, but I've been keeping a, uh, something I can throw a long ways like a spook or a sexy dog. And I've been able to catch a few like that. But, you know, we had the uh, National Youth Association's uh, fish offs this weekend. I was the boat captain for my grandson and uh, his team partner, and they had a pretty good weekend. I mean, they, uh, they finished up in the top five in both events, and I think of all the fish that they weighed in, all but one came on a jig. A couple of them came on an ultimate finesse jig, the other ones came on an ultimate cover jig, and I think we weighed in one on a drop shot. But most of those jig fish, you know, I was catching them kind of on the points, and it, but it seems like the last week I've had to be in brush, in rock piles, or where there's a rock transition. I'm catching some of them back in the creeks on secondary points, uh, a lot of them out there on the main lake. I haven't fished too many bluff ends. Uh, I think that might be a place to try. Uh, the bite has been, you know, real slow, but there's been quality fish. You know, the majority of the fish that we caught or they caught this weekend were smallmouth, and they were averaging you know two and a half to three pounds a piece when you when you catch one. But like I say, you'd you'd catch one or two, and you might go an hour or two without a bite. You just had to stay with it. And we did catch some fish uh, on some docks too. I've been catching a few fish in that twelve to fifteen foot range on a uh, ultimate finesse jig, a seven sixteenths and a five sixteenths ounce, just fishing the shade of the boat docks underneath the lifts. Uh, underneath the, the walkways, any place you got shaded. It's even better if you can find brush. But on the jig colors, uh, this weekend it seemed like, oh, we got one called a brown trout and a green pumpkin orange. Green pumpkin orange is always good on this lake and so isn't anything with, with blue or purple. But this is the brown trout. It seemed to work pretty good this weekend and you'll notice the uh, how wore down that head is. Uh, I'm not gonna say these things don't get stuck. As soon as I say that, I'll get stuck and lose it. But I think we fished all weekend and never lost a jig. We got stuck several times, but we were able to get behind and pop them out. They're really coming through the brush and the cover real well. Now the color that seemed to work, uh, yesterday we really struggled, struggled. Yesterday morning we fished four hours and only had a few keepers. Today was a lot better. One of the legs has gone off my craw, uh, off the craw there. But this Okeechobee craw, you know, seemed to be the lot better bait today. But you know, a lot of times it's kind of hard to tell if it's one color producing better than the other. When you're not getting that many bites, the guy fishing that color jig today might have just got the jig in the right spot, you know. So it's, uh, but for the most part, you know, crawdad patterns are working. And a lot of the fish we caught, you could see they had crawdads in them. They were belching crawdads up in the, up in the live well. I know, uh, the kids that won the events, I think both days were up in the upper James. Uh, and they said they caught their fish on, you know, they caught them shallow, some on jigs, some on a whopper plopper. I went up the upper James, I think it was last Friday to try to establish a pattern. And we we're trying to catch them on a square bill. The bait was all over the place, and every once in a while you'd see some fish feeding, 
but we could not, uh, we caught some short fish, but we couldn't hardly hook up with any keepers up there. And you know, a lot of the creeks in the main lake, uh, Kimberling City, Baxter, Indian Point, the lake's got really good color there. And you know, this past weekend, we spent three hours, the first day of the tournament, fishing a whopper plopper. I had, I had one of the boys fishing a whopper plopper up shallow, uh, another one throwing a, a sexy dog out in the timber behind us. And uh, like I said, we spent three hours doing it on cloudy conditions and we fished ledgy banks, you know, flat gravel banks. Uh, I could just never really figure out where them whopper plopper fish were. And I don't know if anybody is catching them real consistent. I think if you catch them on a certain type bank one day in an area, I don't know if you're going to be able to repeat that the next day. The guy's going to throw that, you know, you almost just got to commit to it, uh, try different colors and, you know, almost going to have to fish from the mouths of the creeks all the way back in so you can try to get a bite or two and then duplicate that uh, in another area. But, you know, the drop shot bite, uh, it hasn't been real good. You know, it's, I've got to fish several spots, but the good thing about the drop shot bite and the jig bite, we're catching very few short fish. You know, we've had some decent Kentuckys in the two and a quarter, two and a half pound range. And almost all of them are coming off, uh, you know, brush piles. Now you can go out to like the bridge piers uh, on the different bridges and uh, throw a drop shot out around them and catch some fish. Uh, that seems to be a little bit more consistent, uh, but you'll go through a lot of small ones there to catch a keeper, but you know, at least it's some action. And I haven't really found one area of the lake that's better on the jig. Seems like I just gotta, you know, stay with it. Now, if, uh, if anybody's interested in where to get any, and I'm not trying to shove this jig down your throat, this ultimate finish jig, but you know, it's working for me, so I'm gonna stick with it. And you know, we have been throwing some football jigs, mi mixing it up, but I'm not saying it's not working, but the few bites that we've been getting have been on that particular ultimate cover jig. So it's kind of hard to, you know, stray away from it, you know, and when you get confidence in a color and a bait that's working and it just comes through the brush, you know, so good. Uh, if you get a chance, you need to need to check it out. But, you know, I think a wobble head, will, uh, like a swing head will work with like maybe a little baby brush hog. Uh, you know, I've tried to Ned rig some because a lot of the, a lot of the fish I'm catching, the small mouse aren't that deep. They're probably 18 to 25 feet deep. So as slick as it's been, you know, I've been able to throw uh, a 3 ounce net rig in the same area as I'm throwing a jig. But for some reason, we can get them to bite the jig, but, you know, not the net rig. Now, that may change. And it seems like a week and a half or two weeks ago, I didn't really have to be in the middle of the brush or in the rock piles. I could just fish on these points where they're located, where the, you know, channels come up against them, where they got little roll-offs. But it seems like the last four or five days, you've got, you know, I've had to be right in the middle of the cover and working the bait real slow. Like I say, the quality is good. It's just not a whole lot of numbers. Uh, and it's been, you know, the conditions, once that wind picks up, it's been a little bit better. Any kind of wind is always good on this lake. But it's been so dead still till about 10, 11 o'clock. And, you know, the jig bite for me has been, been good early. Then it seems like it goes through a, a dead spot. Oh, you know, about 11 to 12 or one. And then it picks up again in the afternoon. And we've kind of found fishing some of the same areas. When the bite picks up in the afternoon, they've been uh, Kentuckys out there in that, you know, 20 foot range instead of the smallmouth. But the smallmouth without a doubt have been biting better for me early. So until next week, uh, good luck, good fishing.